This is where I think many people go wrong because A, it's difficult. B, it's intimidating. So adherence is hard for a lot of women. C, who's got time? for it. Who has time to hit the weights? What does resistance training do? Well, it improves strength. We know that strength, grip strength, is one of the risk factors for all-cause mortality. It increases muscle mass. Muscle is an endocrine organ, so we need this for longevity. But in terms of brain health, what happens is when you stimulate your muscle, you contract it, it releases something called myokines. Myokines are these muscle-based proteins. Once they go into the bloodstream, they go into the target organ, they cross the blood-brain barrier, if you will, they go to the prostate, they go to the liver, the kidneys, and they have positive effects on the brain. They can help your brain function better. They can help grow the brain. They can help with blood flow. They can help with the amelioration of amyloid beta, which is a a hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. So you could paraphrase it and say that your muscles are the pharmacy and the myokines are the medications. 